All right, today I'm breaking down how to cold call as an SDR through a very simple three-step process. There's not a lot on the board here, and that's by design. If you're a new SDR looking for a repeatable framework to follow so that you know exactly what you're doing when a prospect says hello, and not just generally asking questions, hoping they sound interested enough, and then asking for time on their calendar, if you wanna take more control than that, then this is the video for you. So let's get into it. So the three simple steps are the cold call opening, the middle piece in what I call a value statement, which I'll break down in a second, and then selling time. And I've actually mapped out how long this should take visually. And you'll notice that the opening is very, very short. And that is by design. I think a lot of new SDRs, when they're coming in, they're trained to use these crazy pattern interrupts, permission-based openers. Hey, this is a cold call. Do you have 16 seconds for me to tell you why I'm calling? And the prospect's like, huh, what? And they get this weird answer back that's different every time too, so you don't know what to expect. And then it takes like 30 to 45 seconds to even get into why you're calling. I think the purpose of a cold call opening is to keep it simple, repeatable, and advance to step two. I'm not one of these sales reps that gets bored with my cold call openers and feels like I gotta spice things up and change things. I like making money and I like getting results. So I like to keep my cold call opener repeatable and its purpose is to advance to step two. And the way I personally do that is to give an assumptive formality just by saying, hey John, this is Connor Murray calling from X company, how are you? Or, hey John, this is Connor Murray call from X company, how have you been? Pretty much all they can say back and most of the responses I get are in the range of, uh, good, how are you? That some are polite, some sound very confused. They're like, uh, good, how are you? What is this regarding? It doesn't matter, whatever they say, I'm just gonna say, good, I'm just reaching out because, or good, the reason I'm calling is, and then I'm gonna to advance to my value statement. That's it, don't need to overcomplicate this. I don't ever think about my cold call opening. It goes the exact same way every time. And if you're a new SDR, I recommend taking that approach as well. Next is the value statement. And value statement is transferable with cold call scripts, but I prefer to think of it as a value statement. I think the burden of proof is on us to deliver value as SDRs. You need to answer three questions. You need to tell them who you are, why you're calling, and what you want. Remember that as an SDR, this is the framework that makes this really easy and repeatable so that you know what you're doing when the prospect says hello. You need to tell them who you are, why you're calling, what you want. The who you are is typically just your title and the company that you work for. Again, keeping it simple. Then you tell them why you're calling, which is typically what priorities and challenges you solve and how you solve them. And then the what is time on their calendar. If you're doing this as a new SDR, you're gonna put yourself above 90% of SDRs in your peer group just by answering these three questions. Here's who I am, why I'm calling, and what I want. And then what does the prospect have to say to that? You're essentially mic dropping and saying, here's why I'm important. What do you have to say to that? And they can give you three answers. It could either be a yes, a no, or an objection. If it's a yes, self-explanatory, book the meeting. If it's a no, like a hard no, where they hang up on you or something, also self-explanatory, just make your next call. Or they can give you an objection. And if they give you an objection, that takes us into step three, which isn't even always necessary if they say yes, but if they give you an objection, you wanna double down and sell time. You wanna be focused on selling the meeting, which is what you asked for. And my strategy for this is to get two no's. So rather than handling an objection, say they tell you, oh yeah, we just don't have the time or bandwidth right now. Maybe reach back out in a few months and check in with us then. I don't wanna start asking them, well, what other priorities do you have? And, and trying to convince them that all of a sudden they should allocate more time on and off, off the cuff cold call. Because remember, we just cold called them out of the blue. Who knows what state they're in? We're probably not gonna get them to change how they're gonna spend the next three, four months of their time on and off the cuff cold call. But maybe we can do that if we set aside 20, 30 minutes next week and go through why they should allocate more time to whatever your initiative is or whatever you're proposing. Now I'll run through an example and put this into practice so that you can take it, take this framework and apply it to your role in your company and the niche that you serve. So I call, I say, hey John, this is Connor Murray calling from X company. How are you? Good. I'm just reaching out because I'm part of the team that supports X company regarding back office financial processes. And we typically work on priorities related to strategic planning, budgeting, forecasting, usually by reducing the reliance on Excel and automating a lot of those monthly financial reports. 
And I know I kind of called you out of the blue here, so I'm more just looking to set aside some time next week just to get introduced and aligned with your priorities going forward. How's your calendar look next week on Wednesday or Thursday? What I did there was give myself a quality shot on net. I told them who I was, why I was calling, and what I want. I took control, and I did in 30 to 45 seconds what most SDRs, it takes them two, three, four minutes to get to. It takes a long time for them to get to their point, their intent, what they want, if they even get there at all. For most new SDRs, I've found that this framework is a lot more comfortable. They feel a lot more confident when that prospect says hello because they can literally visualize this. Simple, repeatable opening that advances you to step two. Tell them who you are, why you're calling, what you want, and sell the time. You don't have to sell your solution, which should be a huge sigh of relief. It's a lot easier to sell a meeting than to sell your solution on an off-the-cuff cold call. So when you're a new STR, know that. On cold calls, you're selling time. You don't have to sell your entire value proposition at 11.42 on a Tuesday when you just got a prospect live on the phone. So hope this helped, give this a shot, especially if you're a new SDR. Even if you're a tenured SDR or an AE, I still think this is an effective framework where the principles will apply. So hope this helped. If it did, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.